Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. No national anthem and no line starting lineup for this game. So uh, we'll just jump right into it. Yeah. Why not? A uh, couple of um, lineup changes for the Tetons here tonight. Out of action is uh, Peyton Ocon. Uh, received a big hit. Uh, ended up getting knocked out, actually, uh, yesterday's game. Uh, we have Dylan Lincoln out with a shoulder injury after yesterday's game, too. A very tough battle yesterday. Yeah. Uh, Teton's just coming up short in the uh, in the shootout. Uh, very much even even game. I think Teton's were playing against a team, referees, and a crowd last night. So uh, tonight here in uh, Weber County, we have a game against Grand Canyon, uh, ranked number tenth. Uh, what do we expect from the Teton's here tonight, Ryan? A uh, good, fast-paced game. Can't take any teams lightly, and. Uh Capitalizing on chances, hopefully, tonight. Shooting the puck a little bit more. Yeah, that's definitely something that they didn't have last night. It was a lot more shots uh, compared to the other games that we've had in this road trip. This is our last uh, game on the road trip. Uh, then we have our big, uh, what, 13, 14 hour drive home? Yeah. Back to uh, sunny Williston. Uh, so here we have Mike Tussin coming through the neutral zone now. He finds the kids Griskis, but uh, blow dead offside there. Uh, looked like Dalton Johnson was just a little bit too far ahead of the game. Uh, starting goaltender for tonight is uh, the Moose, uh, Kristen Moose. Strecker. Uh, Backup goalie yeah, and Romerol. Uh, face off will just come outside of uh, Grand Canyon zone. Alex Academy with a face off. On back to Cole Wells. Go here, just rim it around the boards. Goal will come out and stop the puck. He'll rim it back around the other way. Alex Akat loses an edge. And a breakaway here for Grand Canyon. Coming in shot, That's saved by Kristen Strecker, the Moose. Coming up big here in the uh, first uh, opening two minutes uh, of the Tetons, keeping this game scoreless. First game uh, he's played since the long road trip. Yeah. Uh, good chance for him to uh, show everybody uh, that he's ready for, for this game tonight. He's in sharp already. Face off one back to Travis Kuhn. He'll rim it around the boards to Terrell. Terrell Coleman comes out with the puck. He'll just chip it out the zone. Uh, Grand Canyon defender will just chip it back in. Travis Kuhn almost turns the puck over there. It goes into the corner. Matt Mezikin to battle for it. And uh, that'll be up into the up into the netting. Face off one back to Dalton Johnson. He'll stop behind the net, turn the other way. Find, tries to find Chris Hilly. Just a little bit too far in front. However, he comes out the puck in a Grand Canyon zone. And battling for it is him and Andy Williams that come out to the point for Dalton Johnson. Dalton Johnson will let it rip and into the chest of Grand Canyon goaltender. We'll swallow it off for a whistle there. Good shot. Nothing wrong with that. We're just testing out the goalie, making sure he's sharp here in this uh, opening couple of minutes. Yeah. 17.43 left in the first. Uh, Tyler Force will come in the draw to the left of the goaltender. Heel is a draw back. The defender will come out with the puck. Force against Tyler Forrest and Chris Hill. He looks to pinch in the half wall. Henry Hoffman comes out with the puck in his own zone. He gets stood up there on the blue line. However, he gets the puck nice and deep. Another lineup change for the Tetons here tonight is uh, Cody Johnson uh, put in Put back into the lineup uh, after missing uh, two games. Uh, Tetons just looking to stretch out their D numbers a little bit. Couple got a uh, bang and bruised. Nikias Gerskis with the puck now, cuts into the middle. Goal! He scores! Nikias Gerskis with a great move coming in there in the backhand and a short ankle finds a five hole. Your Tetons have a 1 0 lead. 17 07 left in the first period. That was a nice goal. Definitely. He beat the defender wide and just slipped at five hole. Nice play by Matt Tustin too to just chip it in, uh, let him chase onto it. You see uh, Nikita do that all the time in practice where he tries to come in in that oh, yeah. He's sharp a skilled, angle and uh, skilled player. Yeah, just finds that five hole. After the face off, it goes out with uh, Will Landsberg. 
He'll make a move into the middle. Comes in, shot. Nice save there by GCU, goaltender. Coming through neutral zone, number 37 for GCU. He'll take the puck in deep. Throws her in front. As Lowen Kraft comes out with the puck in the corner. He loses it there. Comes in through the slot. Shot saved by Moose. Christian Strecker with a couple of big saves here in this uh, opening period. Yeah, that was another nice save. Whoa. Because Grishkis gets put down, and that will be called offside. It was more of a lift him up and push him kind of hit than it was a body check, but... <laughs> The referee deems it okay. The guy was a lot bigger than uh, yeah. <laughs> than Nikita. Face-off tie-up there. Uh, Kenneth Holton comes out with the puck. He just rim it in deep. Travis Kunin there with a pinch on the half wall there. Final Fort now comes out through the middle. GCU will retain possession. They'll just dump it in on the goaltender. Christian Strecker going into the corner now. Battling for it is Dalton Johnson and Alex Aquette, and they'll just rim it out the boards, and that will go the length of the ice. And an icing call here on the Tetons. I'll bring it back down into uh, Teton territory. Face off will be to the right of Christian Strecker. Going to face off is Alex Aquette. He'll win it down to uh, Travis Kuhn. He'll rim it around the boards. Look for Matt Winkle. Winkle's out with the puck through the new zone. He'll just chip it in deep. Hunter Hogan in there to uh, chase after it. GCU come out with the puck, though. They have numbers here in this three on two. Good stick there by Dalton Johnson. Breaks that up. He'll just chip it off and out the boards. Kept in there well by the GCU defender. Henry Hoffman comes out with the puck now. Henry... Kenneth Hogan, sorry, uh, he gets tangled up there in the half wall. Doesn't quite come up with the puck. Or uh, Dalton Johnson breaks through the neutral zone now. Look him in there, just slow the play up, wait for numbers to come back in. Turns the puck over. GCU come back, nice little back check there from Dalton Johnson. Pick parting the def uh, offender from his backside. Good four check there by the Tetons. Matt Mezik and CJ Lansmar are teaming up there. Forcing a little turnover, going into the corner. Matt Mezik separates body from puck, allows uh, Cole Welch to come out with the puck. He takes a shot just over the top of the net. Rim back row, Logan Kraft be able to stop on the blue line. He'll try and fire on net, just misses wide. Matt Mezik in there, a good battle. He separates body from puck again. Quick one-two uh, with Logan Kraft. However, that gets disrupted on there on the blue line. Cole Welch will just chip it in deep now. Let uh, Terrell Coleman and uh, CJ Lansmark go in and chase after it. Terrell tries to lay the body. Turn over here, Tyler Forrest comes out with the puck. He has speed coming through the middle. Our good state there by uh, GCU defenseman breaks that play up. They come back down two on two. Shot gets blocked there by Henry Hoffman. Uh, come down to the boards, pass out to the point. Shot blocked in front there by Matt Falstad. As uh, CJ Lansman will just try and clear the puck out, try and get Tetons, uh, Tetons a change. Down back in the zone, Henry Hoffman will regain possession. He'll give it over to Matt Falstad. He'll just try and chip it up off the boards. Gets uh, tied up there, turnover now. GCU makes a play in front. Nice stick there by Tyler Forrest, breaking up that shot. As Andy Williams, Tyler Forrest, and Chris Hilly come back down on a three on two now. Tyler Forrest tries to get in front of the net and uh, I guess break, broken up there by the defenseman. Tyler Forrest just kicks it into an empty area. And the going go in and chase. Williams comes out with a puck. Gives it over to Forrest. Forrest to the front to Dalton Johnson. Shot saved by uh, GCU goaltender. GCU coming out with the puck and a breakaway here now for GCU coming in. Shot just wide of the net. I'm not too sure if uh, the Moose got a touch on that one or not. Yeah, I couldn't really tell on that one. But this is on his glove side, so I, I think we would have saw if he got it. I think the guy just might have missed. Yeah, just maybe a little bit wide. GCU come back into the zone now. Give the puck over to the far side. Shot saved Save. by Moose. Another big save there by him. Keeping this uh, 
Teton lead to one. Yeah, the, the D need to wake up a little bit. Yeah, just letting that uh, weak side guy, leaving them a little bit open there. Moose coming up big and strong there. Yeah, he's looking good. Face off to the right of Christian Strecker. Uh, Matt Tussins gets thrown on his face off, so Nikita Zagurskis will come in. He'll win it back. Win it back to himself. Give it over to Weltico. Weltico chips it off the boards to Logan Kraft. Kraft gives it over to Weltico in front of the net. Gives, he then gives it over to uh, Will Landsberg. He'll just chip it in deep. Let Cole Weltico go in and chase. Nice hit there by Nikita Zagurskis trying to break that play up on the four check. He wins it. Gives it over to... Logan Kraft, he makes a shot on net. Nice save there by GCU goaltender. Matt Tussin comes out with it. Shot saved by GCU goaltender. Shot by Will Landsberg there. Battling for it now is Cole Weltko. He'll just throw it in behind the net for uh, Logan Kraft. Kraft tries to make a rink wide pass to uh, Will Landsberg. He accepts it really well. Gives it over to Matt Tussin. Matt Tussin to the front of the net. Oh, big save there by GCU goaltender. Matt Tussin tried to uh, just put the puck around him. Good chance. Good chances for both teams here in this uh, opening 10 minutes for the first period. Nikita Zagurskis comes out with the puck on the uh, in GCU, GC GCU territory. Sorry, He comes through the middle shot off oh. the crossbar by Nikita Zagurskis. What a shot there from uh, the slot. GCU defenders just seem to let him walk right in there. Yeah, he had all the time in the world. Good shot, just couldn't beat the post. Yeah, we had the goaltender beating, that's for sure. Puck went up and out of play, so the faceoff will be uh, to the left, outside the zone of GCU goaltender. Alex Akedem in the faceoff. Matt Winkle comes out with it here in the red line. He will grip in the neutral zone with Dalton Johnson. Dalton Johnson just waiting for options. Throws it past rink wide, gets intercepted there by GCU. They'll come in wide with the puck. Alex Akett forces him to the outside. Loose in front here, sticks swinging at it and still swinging at it. Shot saved by Moose, loose in nice front save. and a good, a good clearance there by Dalton Johnson from the front of the net. Shot and that just goes over the top of uh, Christian Strecker's goal. Come through the slot now, shot, another save by Moose. Alex Akeck comes out of the puck, makes the pass to uh, Kenneth Hogan. He'll try and find Travis Kuhn, but uh, gets broken up there. Stretch pass over to Matt Winkle, he'll try and uh, take the shot. Oh, nice toe drag there. Even, even had me fooled on that one. Yeah. Battling for it in the corner now. CJ Lensmeyer in there, loses sight of the puck. And uh, GCU will come back on a, on a four on three. They'll just jump, dump it in the zone. Henry Hoffman will gain, regain possession. Chip it off off the glass, trying to find to Terrell Coleman. Doesn't quite find it. A little bit of uh, possession changes there in the neutral zone. Our GCO will come back and uh, regain possession. They'll just chip it in the zone. Henry Hoffman comes up with the puck. He'll just sauce, softly chip the puck out of the zone. Uh, GCO defender will rim it back around. As that motion will come out and stop that puck. Cody Johnson. Rims it around to Terrell Coleman. Tries to find C.J. Lensman on the far side. Doesn't quite get all of the pass. Nice move there by C.J. Lensmeyer. Penalty. Our penalty, yeah, apparently coming up on the Tetons now. Cody Johnson will sit two minutes for elbows. Seems to be a little bit behind the play there. Didn't quite see that one. Yeah, I, I didn't really see that one either. I don't know where it happened but he's in the box now so yep we'll he'll have PK. two minutes to think about his actions while the uh, Tetons will go on the penalty kill to the right of Christian Strecker face off one by Andy Williams and cleared out still by Andy Williams is that GCU come up with a puck on their power play they'll try and set up into the zone Forced there by Chris Hilly. Chris Hilly uh, and Logan Kraft swap positions there. 
Shot just uh, didn't quite get all of it there for the GCU. Goes into the corner. Couldn't tell if Chris Hilly blocked that or not. I know he tried, but I, I don't I think, think it just went wild. yeah. I think he just fumbled on the shot there. GCU, this shot blocked in front there by Logan Kraft. So Cole Wealthco tries to force his uh, his man out through the blue line. GCU moving the puck really well here in this power play. Play goes in behind the net and into the corner as Andy Williams tries to dig that one out. Again, good puck moving here by GCU. Tries to find the trailing guy, but uh, Logan Kraft gets a stick up in there. He'll tie his guy up into the corner. It's a good battle by Kraft on the yeah, wall good, there. Good kill so far by the Tetons, not allowing any shots. Shots on net anyway. Henry Hoffman trying to regain possession. He turns the puck over. That goes in front of the net and sticked away by the Moose. Battling for it now is Henry Hoffman in the corner. Matt Winkle goes into support. And that goes out to Cole Welch. Cole Hugh just fire it down the length of the ice. Forced the goalie to come out and play that one. As uh, Matt Winkle uh, forces him a little bit. Now Tyler Force will come in, force, force that pass. Turn over to uh, Matt Winkle. He'll try and give the puck to Tyler Forrest. I guess intercepted. Keaton's back five on five now. As uh, Tyler Forrest goes away with the puck, he'll come in wide. He'll just try and take the puck in deep, wait for numbers. As that puck comes out to Dalton Johnson in the blue line. Matt Winkle walks over the uh, top of the circles, fires it on net, tipped in front by Tyler Forrest. That just goes wide. Will Langsford out there with the puck now. Gives it up to Kuhn as he'll chip it back down to Tyler Forrest. Forrest tries to uh, fire Will Langsford behind the net. Turn over. How Nagidas Gris just picks up the puck. Shot saved by GCU goaltender. Played back down by uh, Travis Kuhn as uh, Will Langsford comes out with the puck in the corner. And they'll work the puck down low. Kevin Nikita Zagurskis. Passed in front of Matt Tustin. Shot, big save there by Grand Canyon goaltender. Denying Matt Tustin in the slot. That's a good shot. Good shot and Better a good save, save yeah. too. Will Landsberg comes out with the puck in the blue line. He has a two on now, one, three on one now. Shot by Matt Tustin. Shot, glove save. Just trickles uh, into the crease and cleared away by GCU defenseman. However, a good back check by Nikita Zagurskis causes a turnover. He gives it over to Will Landsberg and I guess turned over in an attempt to pass. Dalton Johnson with a good back check there. As uh, Matt Tussman will gain possession and give it back to Cole Welticle. He'll lose his fourth checker and give it off to Nikita Zagriskis. He'll chip it on again for Cole Welticle. He'll just try and force that play in. Gonna uh, delayed icing call here on Grand Canyon. Will mean no change. As uh, the Tetons will go back into Grand, Ten Grand Canyon zone. Couple good chances on that. Yeah, good, good couple of chances there on that shift with uh, Matt Tustin, Nikita Zagurskis, and Will Landsberg connecting really well there. Face off one back to uh, Matt Winkle. That goes into the corner. Saket will pick it up. Saket moves it over to Matt Winkle. He'll try and find Saket in the corner again. Sorry, in front of, in the slot again. Sorry. The Grand Canyon will come out the puck. They'll just chip it in deep. One guy going for Logan Kraft for the puck. Kraft doesn't get quite get a good read on that one. As a GCU come out the puck, shot gets blocked in front by Cole Welticle. Pass in front, good stick lift there by Logan Kraft, tying up that play. Kraft finds uh, Matt Winkle. Just try a shot on that, that gets blocked in front and that will go up and out of play. Late whistle. Hit up. 5.24 left in the first period. Face off to the left of Grand Canyon goaltender. Uh, Matt Falstad will come down and just play it around the boards. Henry Hoffman tries to keep that in the blue line. Doesn't quite keep it in though, but he'll just chip it back down in deep. A little bit of uh, possession change in there. Howard Tyler Force will come up with it in the corner. 
He'll play it down to Andy Williams. Gives it back down to Tyler Forrest. Good cycle there. Hilly all alone in the front of the net. Shot. Good save there by GCU goaltender. They'll come away with the puck now. Coming deep. Chipping in the zone. Is that Christian Strecko come out to play it? Leave it out for Dalton Johnson. He picks it up with speed. Takes the puck wide. Shot fans on the shot. Harvey still has possession of that puck. Loses it now though. As, uh, Travis Coon does a good job of picking off that two on one opportunity. Gives it over to Terrell Coleman. Captain there in the blue line by uh, Dalton Johnson. He'll play it down to Matt Mezek. Who give it over? Uh, CJ Lensmeyer tried the shot. I think it just came from a little bit too quickly there. Yeah, it looked like it. And, uh, Mezek will play it down for uh, CJ Lensmeyer. He'll just throw it on net. CJ Lansmeyer comes out with the puck. He'll just protect it around the corner. Dalton Johnson gives it back down to him. As uh, Lansmeyer plays it back down to Terrell Coleman. He'll just hold it in the corner, look for that point guy. And bat it out of the air. Baseball swing there by <laughs> Matt Mezik, trying to hit a home runner into the net there. Dalton Johnson just tries to uh, keep that puck alive. However, it comes onto the stick of CJ Lansmeyer. Looks for that late guy, good shot, shot, good save. Matt Tustin almost came out with it there in the slot. Just couldn't quite get a handle on it. Now Grand Canyon comes out into the zone, flip it on goal, Moose will play that into the corner. Nobody really there chasing the puck in that half wall there. Shot from the slot, good save, save. there by Moose. He'll cover off for a whistle. Good save there by Christian Strecker. Yeah, nice and way to cover up the rebound too. Definitely. Zagurskis, Lansmeyer, and Tustin. That'll be Zagurskis, uh, Will Landsberg, and, and Tustin. Yeah, Matt Sorry. Tustin out here on the right to uh, face off to the right of Christian Strecker. GCU will come out with it in their own, in the neutral zone. Shot, good save there by Moose again. Cole Elthico will run it around the boards to Nikita Zagurskis. He'll chip it off to Matt Tustin. Tustin will just chip it out of the zone. Now a 2 on 1 developing here. Good oh. play by Matt Tustin. Good stick there by uh, Grand Canyon defenseman. Yeah, that was a close one. Yeah, in desperation there just to block that pass. Chipped out of the zone now. Foot race with Logan Kraft. He manages to play the potty pretty well there. Doesn't give a uh, forechecker any option. Will Landsberg just chips it out of the zone. Our uh, Grand Canyon come back with a puck here. Two on one now. Shot saved by Moose. Rebound in front. Shot just misses wide of the net. Another good stop there by uh, Christian Strecker. Zergiskis will give the puck over to... Uh, Matt Tustin, he'll try and give it back to him. Will Landsberg comes out with the puck down low in the corner. He'll just try and find the guy in front. Gets picked off there by uh, Grand Canyon centerman. They'll just try and chip it down, down low. Uh, awkward bounce off the glass there. Seems to come right back to Dalton Johnson to try to chip it out. Thrown in front now by GCU. There you gain possession. Good stick there by uh, Travis Kuhn that will go in behind the net. He'll battle for it. Oh, oh, and an awkward bounce tough. there. Yeah, that's a tough bounce there. Uh, GCU just throwing pass to the front of the net. It seems to go off uh, Matt Tustin's skate. Uh, off Christian Strecker's stick and into the net. Tough break there for uh, Christian Strecker. He's been sharp this game. However, Tetons will go into a tie game now uh, with Grand Canyon. 125 left here in the first period. Alex Kent out with a face-off with uh, Kenneth Hogan and uh, Matt Winkle, along with Henry Hoffman and Cody Johnson in defense. Shot on goal, turned away by Christian Strecker. So Henry Hoffman will out with the puck in the corner. He just played out the boards to Matt Winkle. And he'll chimp it off the boards for Alex Kent to get into a foot race. He has his man beaten. In the front now, Hunter oh. Hogan just swings on the puck and just misses the puck there. That would have been his Head first of the season. Yep, first of the season. 
Had a wide open cage, just couldn't quite find the puck as uh, Coy Johnson loses it. Henry Hoffman chasing back his guy who's on a breakaway shot. A Another save. good save there by Christian Strecker. Three breakaways here in this uh, first period, and uh, Christian Strecker's been on strong on every single one of them. Well, three too many breakaways this period. Christian's been sharp on all of them, but you shouldn't have to see that many breakaways. Definitely in a game, not. not a let alone a period. Yeah, Teton's just uh, getting some miscommunication here in the defensive zone. Zandy Williams come up with the puck. He'll win it back to Logan Kraft and give it over to Cole Welt. Cole will find Tyler Forrest on the half wall. He'll give it over to Chris Hilly. Hilly will just chip it in deep, going on the four check. Here comes up with the puck. Supporting him there is Andy Williams. He'll throw it down to Tyler Forrest now. They'll cycle the puck. Nice move there by Tyler Forrest. Just loses it there on the blue line. Bad turnover there by him. So that puck will get chipped in deep. Tyler Forrest going to battle for it in the corner. So Teton's almost had four guys down low there in their own zone. Andy Williams makes a nice move, comes out with the puck, gives it over to uh, Tyler Forrest, who just gained his own. Oh, Gets stood up there. That was like it hurt. Big hit there, seems to be a little bumped up there. That brings us to the end of the first period, folks. Uh, Tetons won, Grand Canyon won. Uh, be sure to tune in here for the second period. I'm sure it's going to be a thrilling matchup.
Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, for period two action between Wallace State Tetons and Grand Canyon University. Uh, score tied at 1-1 right now if you're just uh, joining us. Uh, Teton scored the first goal. Nice move by Nikita Zagurskis. Uh, finding that five hole. And then uh, Grand Canyon got the equalizer with about five minutes remaining in the first. Just an uh, unlucky bounce, really, off of a uh, skate of the defender. As, uh, we're ready to go here with Tyler Forrest with the draw. GCU wins the face off. He'll just dip it down low. Matt Falstein goes into chase after it. Player loses a stick there. Falstein wraps it around the boards. Kept in there by the GCU defenseman. Henry Hoffman just chips it in behind the net. As uh, Grand Canyon come back out with the puck. Falstein in there battling with uh, Tyler Forrest now. As, uh, Andy Willen will try and come out with the puck. He just misses it. Goes out to the point. Shot goes wide of the net. Moves out to the point now. and Maybe a break here for Chris Hilly. Foot race. He just loses that foot race as a defenseman. who covers pretty well. Stretch pass. Gets deflected into the Teton ter territory. As a pass by Matt Falstad got intercepted. He'll dump it back down. It's Henry Hoffman. Good in chase. Trying to find Chris Hilly, but intercepted again by Grand Canyon. As they come up with the puck, around now up to the top of the circles. Throw it back down into the other corner. As a uh, false sad, will uh, just try and chip it out the zone. As that one goes uh, delay offside. Henry Hoffman coming out of the zone now with speed. He gives it over to uh, Chris Hilly. He'll just dump it back down. Chase after, get a change as Alex Keck was in pressures along with uh, Hunter Hogan. So Alex Kett loses it there on the half wall and uh, Grant Kenyon come back with a three on two. Nice move to get around Logan Kraft, but a call for offside on Grand Canyon. Not, uh, not a lot of action here in the first uh, two minutes, shall we say, uh, the first period. Uh, face off to Come to the outside of Teton territory to the left of Christian Strecker's net. Face off got one by Grand Canyon. They managed to keep it in the zone. Coming in the slot now, Logan Kraft picks out the puck. He'll just chip it around. So Hunter will try and chip it out of the zone. Kept in there in the blue line. On the puck now, nice stick lift there by uh, Cole Welticle. Hunter takes the puck in the corner. Didn't know what options were open, so he decided to try and uh, wait for support. As uh, Sakat gives it over to uh, Matt Winkle, just take it in deep. He'll battle for it along the, along the boards. Matt Winkle tries to bump a few bodies. Pass goes through to the middle to Travis Kuhn. He'll just dump it back in down, down back into the zone. As, uh, Matt Tussle will go ahead and chase after it. Good force there by Dalton Johnson to cause the turnover in the blue line. However, his pass gets intercepted. Travis Kuhn comes out the puck. He makes a pass over to Will Landsberg, who avoids the hit. However, Grand Canyon come back out with the puck. They'll just chip it in deep. And Dalton Johnson regains possession. Lost a, lost a little bit of an edge there as he loses the puck. Grand Canyon in behind the net, throws it in front. Good pick up there by Dalton Johnson. There's a delay high stick there. That's why no one was touching the puck. As that will just come in deep now. As uh, Will Landsberg goes in and chases after it. Forces the uh, defenseman just to chip it out of the zone. Matt Tussman calls for the puck in the uh, far side. As Travis Kuhn tries to find them in the middle. Good stick there by uh, GCU defenseman. As Will Landsberg comes up with it through the top. That one just goes offside. As, uh, good back check by Travis Kuhn who is going for a change. Manages to uh, get a stick on that puck. Another uh, misread pass by Will Landsberg. As uh, GCU come out with the puck here. Two on two. On two. We'll, try, we'll delay the puck now. Throw in front of the net, shot just goes over the top of the net there. As uh, Cody Johnson finds uh, Will Landsberg, he'll switch it over to CJ Lansmeyer. We'll take the shot, good block there by the defenseman. They'll trickle in behind the net. Cody Johnson with the move, tries to find the guy coming in the middle. That was uh, Terrell Coleman. So he'll chase after it into the corner. He'll lose the battle as uh, GCU come out with the puck through the neutral zone now. He'll just chip it in. Moving on deep onto uh, Christian Strecker, who will uh, cover up. 
dangerous place. <laughs> it's been back and forth. Yeah, very much. Not not a lot of great opportunities apart no, from that uh, past back door there. Just a uh, just a miss hit by a GCU offenseman. But uh, yeah, very much back and forth. As a uh, face off comes to the left of Christian Strecker, Andy Williams wins it back to uh, the Moose Christian Strecker. As uh, he'll just cover up again. Andy Williams is a guy that can put the puck in the back of the net. He's got 17 goals in 17 games. 23 points on 17 games for the season. So he's having a great year this year already. Definitely had a good start of the year. Shot there by Chris Hilly. He had a two-on-one with Tyler Forrest. Gets gloved down by the uh, goaltender. The face-off comes out to the right of uh, GCU goaltender Ali Williams goes in the face-off. That will be uh, one back by GCU. They will just rim it around the boards. He tries to chip out his own. Kept in there by Logan Claff. Shot almost tipped in front there by Andy Williams. Puck just bobbed on his stick a little bit there. So they'll just chip it in deep. As uh, Logan Craft going and chase after it. He'll win it on that corner and just chip it out the zone there. Tries to find Chris Hilly. Is that Cole Welch comes in the puck now? He would just move it into the corner. Nice move there. Trying to throw it in front of the net. Picked off there by uh, the defenseman. It's Cole Welch who gets possession of the puck. He would just run it around the boards for uh, Andy Williams. Finds Dalton Johnson on the point. Shot blocks in front there. As, uh, Grand Canyon can will come out in the puck through the neutral zone. Same team with a good bit of speed. Shot into the chest of uh, Christian Strecker who will cover up for a whistle. That was a good play by Kraft uh, before it went down to Grand Canyon zone. To, had two guys on him, took the hit to make the play and get it out into neutral ice for the Tetons to go down and set up into the offensive yeah, zone. Definitely. Face off one again by Grand Canyon. There's that Dalton Johnson. Picks out the puck in the half wall. He'll just chip it out as a delayed offside here on Grand Canyon. Try and find out to get through the middle. Broken up, he finds it. And a whistle for whatever reason was there. I have no idea. Guess is as good as mine. <laughs> it's at the same dot too. Maybe it just hadn't blown his whistle in a while. He just wanted he just wanted his chance whistle of fame. Whistle happy. Yeah. Dalton Johnson takes out the puck in his own zone. He'll just try and chip it out the zone. So that's picked off there. However, he regains possession. He'll go behind his uh, own net. By a little bit of time, wait for some options. He tries to find Matt Winkle. The uh, bobbling puck just doesn't quite find him there. So it'll get fired back in down into the Teton zone. Battle for in the corner now is uh, Matt Winkle. He gets put down as uh, Travis Coon comes in to help. And uh, now Alex the Keck comes away with the puck. They come up in a two on two. Now a three on three. Shot, good save there by the goaltender. Matt Winkle just can't quite get a hold of the puck. So Hunter Hogan goes in with it. Thrown in front there by uh, Alex Zaket. Gets broken up there. However, he regains possession of the puck. It's tossed down low. So, uh, here come Grand Canyon through a neutral zone. So, uh, Hunter Hogan will collect it in his own zone. He'll just play it off up onto himself. However, he loses his bucket, goes down low, throw in front of the net, kicked in front of the net. Saved, saved. by Moose, and another save by Moose. Two big saves there by him. Moved into the middle. The Matt Tustin comes up with the puck, he goes behind the net, lays, tries to find Will Landsberg. Just out of the reach of him. As uh, Grand Canyon, we're looking for the stretch. Delayed offside now on the Tetons. Was, uh, Henry Hoffman went in to chase his own dump in there. And that will come back out just outside the offensive zone for the Tetons. There's uh, Matt Tustin, Nikita Zagurskis, and Matt Winkle, along with Henry Hoffman and Matt Folstad in defense. Face off one bat by Matt Tustin, just out of the reach of Matt Folstad. He has to go down into his own zone to chase it. Who tossed it up off the boards, tried to find Nikita Zagurskis just out of his reach.
Matt Winkle makes a nice pass over to Matt Tustin. He'll take it in the zone. Tries to make, make the pass to Nikita Zagurskis. He just tries to throw it on net. So Matt Winkle and him try and uh, battle for it in the puck. He throws it in front, just out of the reach of Matt Tustin. So uh, GCU just dumped the puck in. Matt Christian Strecker will come out to play the puck. He'll just rim it around the boards. And he'll just play it off. Uh, Matt Winkle takes the hit to make the plays. A two on one now here for the Tetons. Passed over to Nikita Zagurskis with a great save by GCU goaltender. Taking away the upper part of the net there from Nikita Zagurskis. Good chance there for the Tetons. The Terrell Coleman jumps in to try and help out there. And Kraft dumps it back into the zone. Terrell Coleman going to chase this, force the player to wrap it around the boards. He'll try and chip it up and out. As Cole Weltko does a good job keeping it in. The puck goes back out to the Kraft. Shot tipped in front there by Mezik. Good block there by the defenseman. Uh, Mezik will come out with the puck. Give it to Lensmeyer. Throw it up to Kraft and he'll just rip it back around. Pinch in there is Kraft. Does a good job of keeping the zone. Sharp angle shot there. Doesn't miss by much by Matt Mezik. And that comes back out here. Almost a break for GCU. Another good play by Cole Weltzko. He jumps up onto the play. Shot goes off the goalie's mask. Quick shot there. It was a nice powerful shot there. Is uh, Cole Weltzko a very active shift here. Yeah, he's been playing well this game. That's uh, a big great hit. big hit there, yeah. There's a uh, cover for him. Is a... Uh, well, it was C.J. Lansmeyer. However, you try to jump up on the play. Now a uh, three-on-three here for GCU. Good stick there by Logan Kraft. He'll go into the corner now. Give it over to Terrell Coleman. We'll find a rink-wide C.J. Lansmeyer. He loses the puck, and it'll just be dumped back down into the Teton territory. Good pass there by Cole to find Chris Healy off the boards. Healy will just try and gain some time. Gives it over to C.J. Lansmeyer. He just chips it out the zone as Chris Healy goes and chases. Broken up play there, almost lead to a GCU opportunity. Good uh, play there by Dalton Johnson and uh, Cole Wealth goes to break that up. So stretching GCU player. Grant Canyon trying to stretch players across the blue line, trying to find that breakaway. But here comes Andy Williams in with a shot, makes, fakes the pass, walks in front, shot, There's scores! Great move by Andy Williams to fake the pass, take the defenseman out of the play, and then the back checker out of the play. Good patience there by Andy Williams to find the bottom blocker side of the GCU net. Tetons have a 2-1 lead here with 10 minutes, 16 remaining in the second period. Like we were talking about earlier, he can score. Yeah, you he, can't. he has that time. Uh, he creates that time really well too uh, oh yeah. to put that puck in the back of the net. His uh, face-off now come out with Tyler Forrest. And that one just comes back into the Teton zone. Dalton Johnson will try and regroup it. He'll make a nice pass off the boards to Hilly. Hilly has it. Andy going in the net. As that one shot just goes blocked. They'll go in behind the net now. Andy Williams with the puck coming up the half wall. Finds a ring wide. Tyler Forrest who walks in. Tries to make the move around the defenseman. Just throws it in front and uh, off of skating almost trickles through there. Uh, GCU goaltender had to be alert for that one. That's a, that's a strong line out there, along with Andy Williams is Chris Hilly. Chris Hilly has 16 points in 17 games, and Tyler Forrest is out there along with him too, and he's got 26 points in 16 games. It's definitely uh, the Teton scoring line. Uh, you know, they create a lot of opportunities. They have a lot of speed and a lot of size too, so you know they definitely use that to their advantage to get into good opportunities here. Face-off tie-up there is... Uh, GCU come out with it. They'll just move it out of the zone. Alex Kett will try and find Hunter Hogan who loses an edge. That uh, shot gets blocked there in front by Travis Kuhn. Now will be battle four and a half wall with Dalton Johnson and uh, Will Landsberg. A bouncing puck just goes right of the net there as GCU will come out with it. He'll move it They'll move it down low. It's Shot, safe. save, and another one by uh, Christian Strecker. Battling for is uh, Alex Aquette and Dalton Johnson, and there are two GCU players. That goes back into the corner for Dalton Johnson to battle for it. 
Well, Landsberg goes into support. He takes up the puck. He move it over. Stands his guy up. Moves it over to Dalton Johnson. Who uh, delays it. Nice pass into Nikita Zagurskis. He'll delay it. Look for the open guy. Finds Dalton Johnson again. He'll throw it quickly on net. Oh. Shot and a... That was a good save. A good save, yeah. Shot. Uh, goaltender made the original save from Dalton Johnson. That one went back door. Uh, I think it was Will Landsberg uh, behind the net there. Tried to stuff it. And goaltender just got back just in time to cover up and seal that post. So the uh, faceoff come to the right of Grand Canyon goaltender with Matt Tustin, Nikita Zagurskis, and Matt Winkle. Nikita Zagurskis gets slashed there. No call on the play. As uh, Matt Tustin causes a turnover, he'll go in and chase it in the corner. Just misreads, misreads that play there. Kept in well by Cody Johnson. He's out going to the corner. Matt Tustin makes a nice move, goes into the middle, protects that puck really well. Just had too many guys on him there, causes a turnover. So GCU will just dump it back into the zone. And uh, Henry Hoffman will come and battle for it in the puck. Coming into the slot now. Shot diving play by Cody Johnson. Good play there by him to block that shot. And that will be too many men on the ice for Grand Canyon. Just seems to get mixed up there during the changes. As that will bring a Teton power play. So this power play will bring out the line of uh, Matt Tustin, Chris Hilly, Tyler Forrest, Andy Williams, and Matt Winkle. You usually see Henry Hoffman there on that uh, on that power play line, but uh, he was just coming to the end of his shift. So you know, the more fresh legs you have in your power play, the more chances you're going to get. So for sure, face off lost there by Matt Tustin going and battling for it is Chris Hilly. They'll uh, outnumber their uh, their opponents. Andy Williams goes to the front of the net and uh, just gets picked off there. I don't think he got the shot away. Uh, Kristen Strecko will come out and leave that puck for Tyler Forrest to pick up. As uh, he'll find Matt Tustin. Tustin coming down in the rink with speed. He tries to split the D, doesn't quite do so. However, oh. Andy Williams almost comes out with the puck. Kept him well there by Tyler Forrest. Makes a nice move, walks into the slot, shot. Oh, oh good saving off the post. Goaltender got a big piece of it and knocks it over onto the post. That one goes into the corner and Andy Williams comes up with the puck. He tried to make the rink wide pass Tyler Forrest. Gets a stick there. Tetons will come back onside. Andy Williams goes in with the puck. What a move by Andy Williams. Oh. Shoots it just over the top of the net. Did that get tipped off the goaltender or did that go straight up? I'm not sure. It was a... Uh, Nice I didn't move. hear anything, but uh, it was definitely in a position where it was hard to get it up into the netting from there. That was but, a nice uh, move. Yeah, great move there by Andy Williams. Showing us again, he's uh, patience with the puck, getting into those quality scoring quality scoring areas. Uh, just missed the net there. So Alex Akek comes out here with Nikita Zagurskis. Now a breakaway for a GCU shorthanded coming in. Good stick there by Dalton Johnson to break that play up. Good back check there by him. And a good pick up on the pass by him four as they on come one. in four on one. Teton's in the puck now. Will Landsberg with a shot saved by the goaltender. Rebound comes out to Logan Kraft. He can't quite bury that shot. Will Landsberg gets sticked down there in front of the net. No play, no call on the play. So Dalton Johnson will move it over to Logan Kraft. He'll shoot it into the chest of GCU goaltender. Bringing us to 624 here left in the second period as the uh, Tetons are up by one. With uh, 32 seconds remaining here in the Teton power play. Alex Kett goes in with the face off. He wins it back to Dalton Johnson. We'll throw it back down to uh, Saket. Saket will have it on the half wall. Move it down to Will, Lan Will Landsberg, I should say, sorry. Goes off Dalton Johnson. He just gets it sticked and over the over the blue line. Ten seconds here remaining on the T-Town power play as they make to look to make one last play here. As a pass gets moved over to Dalton Johnson, he'll dump it into the corner. 
And uh, Will Landsberg will go back and chase it. Five on five here for your Tetons. And uh, GCO just dump it back down into the Teton end. Uh, Dalton Johnson will find Will Landsberg, who will just chip it up. Tries to find out his cat, but that gets intercepted. As Logan Kraft plays a nice pinch there. And the score box door got open there. Again, that happened last game too, didn't it? Yeah, I think or so. Or no, that happened in the other rink. Yeah, that happened in Utah for a big hit by Payne Olcon. Right. So he got put through the boards. We have a couple of shout outs to the, to the folks back in the UK. We have uh, Maria Hounsom and uh, Russell Hounsom watching from uh, Swindon. We got my parents, Susan and Scott Ling, watching back home too. Uh, we got, I know we got some people from Germany watching, people all from all over the world watching tonight. So uh, thank you. We appreciate your support uh, here for the Teton Hockey Broadcast. Hope you're enjoying the game. Is that Terrell Coleman goes into the corner. He loses it. Pass out to CJ Landsmeyer. Yes! Scores! scores! What a pass by... Matt Mezic to find C.J. Lensmeyer alone in the slot. Good shot there by uh, C.J. Lensmeyer, who I think, correct me if I'm wrong here, Ryan Budazzoni, if uh, uh -huh. that's his first goal as a Teton. Uh, let's see. If we can get our stats Lensmeyer. up here. Yeah, that is his first goal. Yeah, first as goal as a Teton. It's a big point for him. Uh, missed a couple of games with a shoulder injury. Yeah, he's a he's a hardworking kid too. In practice, he'll he's always going a million miles an hour. So yep, he's definitely one of those guys that pushes himself to the limits. Uh, guess we paid there with the goal. As a GCU just fire it down in on net. As a Cole Elthko going to battle for it, he'll find Logan Kraft behind the net. As uh, Tyler Forrest comes up with that on the half wall. Hope have a broken up play there. Moves it over to Chris Hilly. He'll move into the zone. Tries to find Andy Williams behind the net. Picked off there by GCU. So that's flicked up and out of the zone by Grand Canyon State defenseman. And put in on goal and covered up by the Moose, Christian Strecker. Not a lot of uh, action down the Teton defensive end this period. Remember the start of the period, they had a uh, yeah, it's a lot better than, than three breakaways in the first. Yeah, that's for sure. Go from one side of the road to the other. Yeah, 419 left in the second period. The face-off will come up to Matt Tostin. He loses it, walked in front, shot just goes wide of the net there. Shot good save by Christian Strecker. Is that he holds that one between his legs. Uh, Christian Strecker still standing strong here in this game. Yeah, he's been playing well. Oh, just that unlucky bounce there in the first period put uh, Grand Canyon up on the board. Face off uh, gets one onto the boards as a battle for it to is by Dalton Johnson. As Matt Winkle collects a, collects a loose puck. Nice move there by Matt Tustin. As, uh, he ties up his man, lets Matt Winkle come out with the puck. However, Grand Canyon will. Uh, Come through the neutral zone now, so they'll just chip it in deep. Did the offenseman just lost the puck there? Uh, Travis Koo moved the puck over. Shot save. Nice save. And another good save there by Christian Strecker. Dangerous play. Yeah. <laughs> in the D zone. but Dangerous play there by uh, Nikita Zagurskis. Tried to make the ring quite pass, but uh, just got picked off there. Christian Strecker again coming up big for the Tetons here in this game. The uh, face-off is lost by Alex Duquette. Grand Canyon trying to get the shot. That's blocked by their own by their own guy. So Hunter Hogan will try and come up with the puck now. He gets uh, hit hard and a penalty here now. Coming up on Grand Canyon, it's going to be for interference on Kenneth Hogan. As, uh, he didn't play the puck. And got put down. So... Uh, Second power play for the Tetons here tonight. Second one of this period too. Not a lot of great chances for the Tetons in the first in the first power play opportunity. Um, hopefully we'll try and change this one here. 
Because uh, the same lineup that started the first first time on the power play of Andy Williams, Tustin, Winkle, Tyler Forrest, and your captain, Chris Hilly. As uh, they'll look to set up, up now here. Then we'll roll to Andy Williams, who will throw the shot, shot, save, and it trickles into the corner. Good shot there by Andy Williams, almost getting his second goal of the night. As uh, Winkle will take the puck, he'll find Matt Tustin and rink wide. As, uh, Tyler Forrest will walk in all over the blue line, move down to Matt Tustin. He'll fight it over into the middle. Shot by Chris Hilly, just goes wide of the net. And uh, GCU not quite getting the puck out of the zone just yet. As uh, kept him well there by oh, the Tetons. Oh, it's a nice move. Good stick there by GCU goaltender. As Andy Williams comes down. He'll move it down to Matt Tustin. Moves it up to Tyler Forrest. Forrest just throws it on net. Almost finds Andy Williams back post. Tip there by Chris Hilly. See him move it to Matt Winkle. Good possession here by the Tetons in the penalty power play. Shot in front. Got stopped and a rebound goes back in behind the net. Tetons again regain possession. It's Matt Winkle tried to throw it on net. Got blocked in front. Tried to find a backdoor Matt Tustin. That one got intercepted there too. As uh, Tyler Forrest will just hold it in behind his own net. Wait to break this puck out. Tustin's a dangerous guy on the power play. I know from experience playing him last year, he, uh, and, well, you've seen even the way he shoots in practice. If he has that shot right yeah, around yeah. The, in the house, he's going to score 95% of the time. Uh, we see it a lot in practice where he gets that time in the slot. High blocker's his favorite place. <laughs> oh, yeah. He definitely finds that one a game of rebound. Shot by Dalton Johnson and glove down there by a GCU goaltender. Face off one by GCU as they'll come through uh, the neutral zone. Broken up, broken up play. It ends just on the blue line of the Teton zone. Is that Travis Kill got the puck? He receives a big hit there. However, Teton gets the puck down low. Is that uh, Terrell Cohen going and chase it now along with Matt Mezik? Uh, nice hit there by uh, CJ Lensmeyer. So GCU will look to break this puck out here. Good pinch there by Travis Kuhn. However, the puck comes out of the zone. Dalton Johnson tried to chip it up and out, but uh, kept him well there by GCU. As, uh, they'll just rim it back around and have Travis Kuhn collect it. And another too many men on the ice penalty for uh, Grand Canyon. As uh, we are 31.8 seconds left here in the second period. Your Tetons are going on the third power play of the game and their third power play of this period. Hopefully. Yeah, goal still no goal goals here one. for the Tetons power play. It's definitely one of their stronger points, special teams. As uh, the same line will come out here again. A lot of possession in the in the zone of GCU, however, that's a bad bounce off the glass. He'll come in, shot, and a goal shorthanded by GCU. Another breakaway allowed by the Tetons. He finds a five hole of uh, Christian Strecker. You know, just a broken up play off the glass. There seems to have an awkward bounce. Does that found uh, a chasing GCU offenseman? Yeah, you got to be careful. On uh, I find the PK is, is actually. Well, they gave us one instead of them, but I find the PK is actually easier to get breakaways off of if you have those guys blocking shots up top, or if you get a high one off the glass and you get a guy flying, yep. and no one picks them up because they think we have an odd ma or a man advantage, there's actually quite a few breakaways that can come off a short-handed one. Yep. There's nothing Christian could have done on that. Oh, no, not at all. That was a 
It was a nice move. He sold it well. Zag gets thrown in front by Matt Tustin to end the period. As uh, we'll be back for the third period here in uh, Weber County, uh, home of Weber County State University. Um, Tetons up 3-2 to two here. Uh, when they come back, they'll have a minute 29 left on the power play. Uh, that's all I got. Ryan, you got anything to say? No. Nope. Nope. See you after the period. All right, yep. Yeah.
Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, for uh, the third and hope, well, maybe final period. Hopefully. Of uh, this game here tonight as uh, Tetons are up three to two. They start off with a power play. 129 remaining on it. As uh, Teleforce has it behind the net. He's pressured pretty hard there. He finds a rink wide Chris Hilly. Chris Hilly almost loses the puck there in the half wall, but he regains possession, moves it over to Winkle, who give it over to Forrest. Forrest back to Winkle, finds Matt Tustin down low, throws it in front, and that's Good loose play. there. It's a nice little play. Nice little chip in front there by Matt Tustin. Shot by Andy Williams, shot and a big save there. Coming up big there was uh, Grand Canyon goaltender. He's been playing well tonight. He's had some good yeah, saves. Yeah, every, well, some opportunities that I've had from the Tetons, he's come up big. Comes out now with Alex Akat, Nikita Zagriskis, and Will Landsberg, along with Logan Kraft and Dalton Johnson. As Logan Kraft loses the puck in the blue line. He managed to tie his guy up though, so uh, no break there for Grand Canyon. Dalton Johnson loses it in the front. Pass to the front. Shot scores for Grand Canyon University. As a turnover from uh, Dalton Johnson down low. As a pass out to the front. Just beats Kristen Strecker over the glove side. As a, another shorthanded goal here for the Teton. Uh, another, power, another power play goal here. Against for the Tetons, I should say. Shorthanded for Grand Canyon. Brings this game level at 3 3 with uh, 19.04 left in the period as the Tetons still have 33 seconds. As Matt Tustin, power play unit one. Unit comes out. Uh, I guess called offside there. Chris Hilly was just got over the blue line. The faceoff will uh, just come outside of the Grand Canyon zone. One back to Tyler Forrest. He'll try and chip it in through the middle. Bad out there by Tyler Forrest on the clearance. He'll just chump it into the corner. Andy Williams goes in and battle for it. And, uh, he gets tied up and a hooking oh, call there on Grand Canyon. That's a lucky break. That would have been a three on one. A oh, holding penalty, I should say, sorry on Grand Canyon as a uh, captain from Grand Canyon number 26 goes to the box as uh, Tetons have a 5 on 3 for 13 seconds and then a 5 on 4 for the remainder 1 minute and 47 as uh, Tustin Williams, Hilly, Forrest and now Henry Hoffman coming back on on the, on the power play now as Tustin wins it back to Hilly, he goes over to Forrest. Goes over to Henry. Back to Forrest. Back to Henry Hoffman. Hoffman with a shot off the pad of the goaltender. Goes into the corner. As uh, Teton's good, outnumber their opponents in the zone. Three game possession. Move back up. Grand Canyon back uh, five on four now. They get one guy back. Ring wide pass to Matt Tustin by Chris Hill. Andy Williams, I should say, sorry. Nice move by. Matt Tustin cuts it to the middle. He's hooked there, no call in the play. Oh. Shot by Andy Williams, just goes through bodies. And just goes wide of the net as we have a whistle as the net is dislodged. That was a great chance. I yeah, a good chance there by Andy Williams. Seems to just sneak under a couple of bodies there and uh, only just missed the net wide. As the face off comes to the right of uh, Grand Canyon net. Andy Williams going in for the draw. So Chris Hilly comes up with it in the corner. Just is it off to Andy Williams. He'll try and drive the net, gets sticked off there. Out to Henry Hoffman, back down to Williams. Williams will just throw it on front of the net. Save there and into the corner. Matt Tustin picks it up. Down to Hilly. Hilly goes behind the net. Goes up to Henry Hoffman. Back down to Hilly. 
Matt Tustin in the back door calling for it. Gives it off to N Andy Williams in the slot. As, uh, that gets missed and Tyler Forrest picks it off in the blue line. Forrest gives it back to Tustin who gives it over to Henry Hoffman. A lot of possession time here for the Tetons but not a lot of great chances yeah, work, out working the Grand Canyon team. But yeah, I, I don't know why they're not. Tustin's been open the whole time and I <laughs> so many chances to get it to him and he could just yeah. blast it in but just not giving it to him. I don't know. It's been a normal line for the Tetons here on this road trip. It's not a normal power play line that they use in practice. Uh, maybe a couple of guys just not knowing where each other's sweet spots are out there on the ice. Yeah. As, uh, well, Lansbury looked like he was tripped there. Seven seconds remaining, oh. thrown in front by Wat Matt Winkle. As, uh, there's five on five now. Logan Kraft moves it down to Alex Aquette. Pass just a little bit too hard for him to handle as it goes into the corner. They move it down nicely by Will Landsberg. He'll just throw it in oh, front, trying to find Nikita Zagurskis, who just loses it. There's, uh, Alex Kett almost loses it in his neutral zone, but Mac Matt Winkle picks it up nicely. He'll come in wide, slow down, wait for numbers. Move it down low to Nikita Zagurskis. Nice play into and Will Landsberg. He gives it back to Alex Kett. Cycling it nice, nicely as uh, Zaket, Nikita Zagurskis as he turns it over there. And a nice pick off there by Matt Winkle. Knocking that one out the air. However, uh, a penalty coming up now in your Tetons. Matt Winkle's gonna get a penalty for interference. As uh, Grand Canyon looked a little bit dangerous there coming down. As your Tetons will go on a penalty kill with 15.55 uh, remaining in the third period. Game still tied 3-3. PK's been good at least for the most part. Most part of the road trip uh, this week. PK's been really good. It's definitely one of the Tetons' uh, strong assets is uh, their special teams. However, the power play not really converting tonight. Not create, creating some opportunities, not really finding the back of the net though. There's uh, Grand Canyon moving the puck really well. And a good save there by Moose, got trickled up off a block shot by Mac Mezik. And trickled up and a nice catch there by Kristen Strucker. Uh, Andy Willens comes in for the faceoff now. He wins it back to uh, Travis Kuhn in the corner. Tied up there he is, so uh, puck will be wrapped bound up to the point by Grand Canyon. Rink wide pass. They'll just throw it in front of the net. Off the post. And another shot there. Good save there by Moose. Now going to the corner. 17 Travis Kuhn and 15 Andy Williams in there. Bound for it. And he is hit hard there. Travis Kuhn hit hard from behind. Your Tetons will get a 4-on-4 four four now, at least. A uh, great hit there by Grand Canyon as they were battling in the zone. They lose their power play. So uh, number 11 for Grand Canyon will sit two minutes uh, for boarding. Faceoff will be brought back down into the Teton offensive end. Four and four hockey for a minute 24. A little bit more room out there in the ice to uh, possibly beat players a little bit more with speed now. So that Matt Tussin comes in with the draw. He wins it back to and Travis Kuhn, sorry. He takes a shot. Blocked away there by the goaltender. So that Matt Tussin goes in battle for at the corner. He forces his guy well. Wink wide pass because uh, missed there by Grand Canyon. Just Kowalski will give it over to Nikita Zagurskis, makes a nice move into the zone. Now you got Matt Tustin, gives it over to Kowalski, comes in, shot just high of the net. Travis Kuhn was available in the back door. Howler is now a breakaway again, oh, opportunity no. against the Tetons, and a nice great save. save by Kristen Strecker as a penalty shot is awarded against Kowalski. As a referee thought that Grand Canyon. Player on the breakaway was hooked from behind.
Saquon Moosey. We have a penalty shot here awarded for Grand Canyon. Thirty-seven comes in slow, builds up a little bit of speed, comes in with a shot off the oh. post. Kristen Strecker having to call on his best friend there, gives him a little, uh, gives him a little tap, says thank you. That one just goes off the post and uh, goes into the corner, so no goal on the play. That's huge. We needed that. A little bit of luck here for the Tetons on that penalty shot there. As uh, Andy Williams wins the face off back to Henry Hoffman. He'll rim it round for Tyler Forrest. He's going to build up a little bit of speed. Try and beat his man through the middle. Almost does, but just gets outnumbered there. Does a good job of getting the stick in the lane. No offside call there. Andy Williams with a shot. Oh. Uh, I think that was a save. I'm not sure if Andy yeah, Williams didn't get all I think of he it. He got his right pad down. As uh, Tyler Forrest makes a nice move, gets around him, shot on goal. Tipped in front by Andy Williams, gets stopped. That will be high and over to Dalton Johnson. Deflected off a stick. Dalton Johnson tries to make the move, gets tied up there. That one comes out of the does comes out of the zone as Tetons are on a delayed offside. They Tetons are now on a power play for 32 seconds. A nice move there by Matt Winkle opens up. Nice pass oh, and Andy stick, Williams gets that. yeah, Andy Williams gets tied up there in front of the net. It's an offside call there. Logan Kraft doesn't quite keep the zone. Face off will just be just outside the Grand Canyon, Grand Canyon zone. That was a good stick by the Grand Canyon defender to pick up Andy Williams because that was a dangerous play for them. Yep, he was in it alone over there and a good stick there to break up that play. His face off one back to Logan Kraft, can't quite catch it. He's beating the foot race. Dalton, Dalton Johnson's required there to uh, help him out there. As well, Lansford just chips it out of the zone. Run around the boards now as uh, Grand Canyon will just let them let it go and come all the way back down as they take the puck. They'll try and send it the length of the ice as we're back now to five on five. As a long craft picks, picks out the puck, turns the puck over there in the neutral zone. Are we good? Uh, Backtracking by Will Lansbury to break up that play as Dalton Johnson stops in behind the net. There's a pass attempted for Hunter Hogan gets missed. And that'll be a nice and call here on the Tetons. Similar to the uh, to the second period, not a lot of great chances for either teams other than the penalty shot for Grand Canyon. Uh, there was one good chance for the Tetons at the start where the goalie had to come up big. But 12.40 uh, second left here in the third. Nice save there by Moose. So he kicks that one off into the corner. There's a little bit of a pushing and shoving between Dalton Johnson and number 12 of Grand Canyon. Raphael just sent both of them to the box. Let them calm down for a little bit as we'll be on four on four. As uh, both sides will receive a two minute roughing penalty. It's getting gritty. Yeah, both teams uh, trying to grit their way through this one. It's definitely gonna be a gritty one to the end. As uh, Matt Winkle comes out with uh, Cole Weltko, Nikita Zagurskis and Henry Hoffman. As uh, Winkle wins it back to Henry. Henry uses the net, creates himself a little bit of space, gains some speed, finds a rink wide. Matt Winkle gives it back to Henry Hoffman, tries to give it to Nikita Zagurskis in front. That one just gets broken up there. Pass just a little bit too far. Nice forecheck by Nikita Zagurskis to break up that play. Nice stick. There's a good forecheck here from the Tetons, using the body well. There's a Grand Canyon come out with his puck now through the neutral zone. Using the length of the ice there. Henry Hoffman does a good job of uh, blocking him out. 
It's a shot from the point, stopped by Moose. Kicked out to Henry Hoffman. Goes back to Cole Wealth. Cole is here using that to try and gain some space. Stretch pass over to Matt Winkle. Can't quite receive it properly. Uh, Grand Canyon come into the zone now. And Andy Williams will retain possession. Knock it down to Cole Wealth. Cole. He'll just chip it up off the board to Chris Hilly. So he'll take the puck. He'll move it rink wide over to Andy. Andy Williams coming through the zone now. Luke to try and fire a shot on net. So that just trickers off a body and goes wide. There's uh, Chris Hilly there to take the shot off the backhand. Moves off to the point shot by Cody Johnson. Just goes off the side netting. Christopher Hilly in there chasing after it. It's Grand Canyon rim the puck around the zone. They come out with it. So they'll try and chip it in deep. Travis Coon comes up with the puck. Finds Andy Williams. Andy Williams loses one guy, loses another. Makes a move around into the zone, goes in deep. Just circles down, tries to dump it back in, goes off of Chris Healy's shin pad, and out come Grand Canyon. They take a shot on that into the chest of the Moose Christian Strecker. Moosey. I don't think I've ever met a nicer kid than Christian. Very generous guy, allowing uh, two of his teammates to uh, spend Thanksgiving with his family up in uh, Winnipeg, up in Canada. Yeah, he's definitely uh, one of the one of the favorites on the team. Definitely a nice kid and a uh, cute t cute kid too. <laughs> definitely one of the cutest guys on the team. As uh, Cole Wellsco rims it around here for Matt Mezzik as he chases after it. He forces uh, the turnover as Terrell Coleman tries to pick up the puck. Coming back now is uh, Grand Canyon as they'll throw it into the corner. Nice play by Logan Kraft. There's a chip that round. As Cole Wellsco comes out with the puck with speed. He still has it. He makes a move wide. Tries to throw it in front. That gets sticked away. Terrell Coleman will go into the corner to battle for it. He misses the puck. And uh, now we got two, a possible two-on-one opportunity there for Grand Canyon. Henry Hoffman played the puck well there. Taking away that opportunity. Now Henry Hoffman regains it in his own blue line. Chipped in there by C.J. Lensmeyer. It's Terrell Coleman going to chase after it. Terrell Coleman sl slows his guy down. Matt Tustin, also Nikita Zagurs, gets out there. A high play up there, trying to find a, another breakaway. Gets picked off there by Henry Hoffman. He'll run it around the boards. Good stick there by Matt Tossin to take away the center pass. So he comes out with the puck with speed. He's moving. He moving. He wants it. He gives it over to Nikita Zagurs. Just makes a little backhand. And a oh, I thought that was in. That was a close call there. Nice move by Nikita Zagurs. Right takes the line. backhand. That just trickled through the body and trickled along the goal and then back out there. As Nikita Zagurs picks it up behind the net. That gets rimmed down there by the defenseman. As uh, oh, Travis hey, Kuhl come up. Oh, he didn't change. And Big a glove save. save. What a glove save there by Moose. With a sort of breakaway attempt there. As uh, Travis Kuhl was trying to go for a change as uh, Grand Canyon came out with a puck. Travis Kuhl just knocking off the boards there. Again, trying to get another change, but has to stop and play the rest of it as Moose re realizes he has to slow things down here and uh, cover up for a whistle. It's, uh, I don't think we've allowed this many breakaways all season in one game. Definitely not in one game. It's been a, it's been a long road trip for the guys. You know, they're, they're tired, their legs are tired. Uh, mentally, they'll be tired too. Four games in four days. It's a lot of ask of, uh, of any team. And two games before that. Yeah, and two games a weekend before that. So Tetons have reasons to be tired, but you know they gotta push through it. You know, try and come up here on top. Right. With an undefeated record here on the road. As uh, Alex Akek comes away with the puck, he has Hunter Hogan with him. Tries a one-handed move, gets caught up there. 
That's a nice move there, and a nice great save. save by Moose again. The nine number 77 for Grand Canyon. Uh, made a nice move past Cole Wilkes. Coach get into the slot. A great save by him there. The Tetons have had to call upon him a lot tonight. Take away those chances. And give him credit, he's done that. Face off lost there by the Tetons. Their shot goes through through a couple of buys, misses the net though. That'll be a nice and call here in the Tetons. Is that a high scoring line is out with 11, Chris Hilly, 15, Andy Williams, and 24, Tyler Forrest. If you're uh, captain and both assistants there on the same line. There's uh, Tyler Forrest going with the face off. He'll win it behind the net to uh, Travis Kuhn. He'll just chip it off and out. That'll be another icing call here on the Tetons. 7.26 here remaining in the uh, in the third period. And a game that the Tetons would like to be leading in, as much as any game, but uh, a Teton team that I think they know they should be leading in. Yeah. Would it be uh, any other day? Oh. Shot just goes through there. Chris Hilly tried to block it. As uh, Kristen Strecker couldn't see it. There was oh, a lot of bodies there in front of his own net. He didn't see any of it. It was a lot of traffic. No, just a broken up face off play there by Grand Canyon. Gives him a 4-3 lead. 7-24 here remaining in the in the third period. And now the Tetons are in a hole that they got to dig themselves out of. They rally though. We rallied last night. We're down 4-3 in the third and we, we tied it up with two minutes left or not even. So... No, it's definitely not over yet for the Tetons here. As Henry Hoffman goes in the battle to end the corner battle for it. Terrell Cohen comes out with the puck. He finds a rink wide CJ Lensmeyer. He tries to make the move now. He was just trying to throw it down low. Fans on the puck. Terrell Cohen just throw in front of the net, try to find Mezik as he was behind the net. And now a no icing call here on the Tetons as Henry Hoffman gets tied up there in the corner. Cole Wilthko goes in to help him out as Matt Mezik takes. Takes responsibility in front of the net. Uh, Cole makes a nice one-handed pass there. Oh, to Terrell Cohen who finds CJ Lensmeyer. We'll try and cut in there. Nice shot there and that's something. That's something. I don't know if that's a goal or not. Oh, that's close. They'll tell the goaltender not to move. Uh, it looked like the goalie's toe was inside the net when it went in. And still I haven't seen the puck yet. It popped out. That's close. As uh, I think, uh, that was a good no, shot. Yeah, no clear indication of uh, whether the puck was in the net or not, so it will be ruled as no goal. Nice shot there by C.J. Lensmeyer. Almost finding that little hole there. As that uh, Matt Tussin comes in the draw with Zagurskis and Matt Winkle with Kuhn and Dalton Johnson on the. On the points, as a Grand Canyon player gets kicked out the zone there. Out the faceoff, sorry. Faceoff won by Grand Canyon. Almost another break there for them, as that gets ripped around the boards. And a big hit there by Travis Kuhn. Allows Matt Tussin to come out with the puck. He just chips it off the boards, finds a Matt Winkle who's wheeling. He chips it in down low, tries to get in front of the net. Still comes out with the puck, however. Throws it in front of the net. That comes off the goalie stick and goes behind the net. Zagurski is with it now. Makes a nice little move as Matt Tustin has it. He tries oh. to find Matt Winkle in front of the net as he was tied up really well there by a Grand Canyon defenseman. And good stick there by Dalton Johnson on that play. Now giving up the blue line. Big shot by Matt Winkle, just misses wide. Is that deflected off a stick? As uh, Grand Canyon come back the other way, shot, misses wide. A chip off the boards by Matt Winkle, comes back to him off the skate of a player. As Logan Kraft was trying to go up there. Caught out was Logan Kraft as uh, Cole Wilthko is called upon to force his guys into the corner. He does so. Oh, my apologies. That was a pen on my mic. 
That made a very loud noise. <laughs> <laughs> that was chipped out of the zone. Uh, Hunter Hogan chips into the zone now. Is uh, battling for is him and Will Landsberg. So they try and get out, get the puck out. Alex Kett takes over there, he gives it over to Cole Welch. Cole just loses it there on the blue line. A nice Shoot save the there save. by Christian Strecker, seeing it in all the way. Uh, the Tetons need to make something happen here quick if they want to take this game anywhere. We've got to get one soon. Time yeah. winding down, only 4.51 left in the third period. So we have Tyler Forrest to the right of Christian Strecker's net. As I get stumped down, Henry Hoffman win a battle for it in the corner. He battles hard well there. Puck comes out to Tyler Forrest. So he'll try and chip it up and out to uh, Chris Hilly. So he'll just chip it in low. Or tries to anyway, and that gets uh, delayed offside as it was blocked before it went in. Good hit there by Tyler Forrest. And as Travis Kuhn finds that one. Uh, Tyler Forrest loses it in the neutral zone there. Picked up on by Dalton Johnson. So he tries to make a move in there. Had to wait till it was uh, clear on side. And the feet of Andy Williams now trying to kick it out. Doesn't quite get there. Dalton Johnson will retain possession. He'll just dump it into the zone. Picked off there by the defenseman. It was a nice play step by Travis up. Kuhn to step up on that play. As Tyler Forrest was just a little bit offside there. He tried. He tried dragging the skate. Yep, just uh, legs weren't long enough there. <laughs> so he has uh, Matt Tustin in there for the draw now. We got Matt Winkle chasing after his. Uh, Grand Canyon just throwing into the neutral zone. Regrouping now the Tetons to Travis Kuhn. Give it over. Nice play by Matt Tustin to take that puck. Ziggy's going in the net. He let him know he's going in the net. That's and goal. it. Goal. What a goal by Nikita Zagurskis driving the net. You heard him from up here. What a play by Tustin off the far pad. He knew he was driving. He was driving. You heard uh, Nikita Zagurskis from up here calling for that puck. And Matt Tustin knew exactly where he was going. It was a tie uh, hockey game. Yeah, we have a tie hockey game now, ladies and gentlemen. 3.55 here left in the third period. As uh, Nikita Zagurskis gets another goal here in this hockey game and another goal here in this road trip. Getting some big points. We were really. talking earlier. We rally. We rally in the third. <laughs> we're our big third period team and uh, I think a lot of teams know that now. Take a look at our, our stats and when we get points. What the Tetons now can't let happen is uh, let their emotions get the better of them now. They have to stay concentrated here. And uh, play a controlled hockey game here for the rest of the third. As that uh, Lone Craft is in the corner there to battle for it. Cole Wilt, Cole lets uh, Grand Canyon retain the puck. Play in front now. Throw in front, good block good there ball. by Cole Wilt. Cole, Zach was in the corner, big hit there by Matt Tustin. And I think we got some tired legs out here for the Tetons. So uh, Cole Wilt, Cole forces his guy into the corner. Uh, he got stood up there. Three guys down low here for the Tetons in their own zone. As I tried a shot on net from Grand Canyon, as that gets fanned on, Winkle will play it down to Cole Welts. Cole. As he looks for options. Only thing he has to do now is uh, chip it up and out of the zone, and that bounces off the glass. Off the top of the glass? Yeah. Try and get him to do that one. <laughs> Again, because uh, that one goes out of play here. as the face-off will be just outside the Teton, Teton zone. As Alex Keck start, comes in for the draw. Grand Canyon win it, but it goes all the way back into their own zone as Will Landsberg chase after, chases after it. And CJ Landsberg comes out with the puck, throws it down into Will, Will Landsberg. As that Grand Canyon come out with the puck, good stick there by Dalton Johnson again, breaking that play up. Maybe Grand Canyon will just ch chip it into the uh, into the corner of Teton territory. 
And a good play there by Dalton Johnson just to let that rim round for CJ Lensmeyer. He saw that there was someone coming for him. Dalton Johnson will come out, uh, come out the zone with speed. As uh, Dalton Johnson avoids the hit and another hit. And that will be chipped up and out of play again by Grand Canyon. And that will be a face off in the offensive zone for the Tetons. One minute 37 left here uh, in the third period. In this last game of the Teton road trip. As uh, Chris Hilly goes in the corner to battle for it. Tyler Forrest uh, tried to leave it there for Henry Hoffman. Didn't see the man behind him. Zach gets chipped into the corner as Henry Hoffman takes the puck. He makes a nice little breakout pass to Andy Williams. Makes a nice move around his, his four checker. Gains his own. Makes another nice move. He's all alone in the slot. Shot yeah. goal! Andy Williams with yet another goal here in this road trip and yet another goal here in this hockey game. As the Tetons make it 5-4 with 1.14 left in the left in the third period. And uh, we talked about this a lot here in this game of Andy yeah. Williams with his patience. That's a big goal. Patience on the puck to uh, get into the get into a better scoring area. As uh, he freezes everybody there. And uh, he puts the puck in that low glove side. Sorry for my yelling. I got a little excited there. <laughs> it's allowed. <laughs> it's a big win here for the Tetons. Not yet. Oh, not yet. That is true. That, not, that is true. 14. It's a big lead here for the Tetons, I should say. If they should win this game, it will be a big win. Shut down. Shut down D for a minute 14. You know that goalie is going to be coming out of the net as soon as he can. Yep, not a lot of time left here for uh for Grand Canyon. They'll have to have to think of something quick here. Guess that'll bring the uh End of the timeout for for Grand Canyon as we have we're going to start off with our five players here for the for the uh, neutral zone faceoff as we have Nikias Agurskis, Matt Winkle in with the faceoff draw and Tyler Forrest as Grand Canyon will regain possession. They'll try and chip it in down deep. Henry Hoffman comes on with the puck in the corner. He'll try and rim it, rim it on the boards. Is there a goaltender? Grand Canyon pulls their goaltender. We have six on five now. That'll make a play back door. Stick. There's a lot of bodies out there on the ice now. As, uh, they'll let them uh, hold the puck in the corner. Almost oh, cleared out there by Cole Wellsco. Nice block shot Lots. there by Matt Winkle. Trying to throw pucks to the net. And a high shot there from the point. Goes all the way up. No deflection. Uh, at least we didn't think there was deflection. Referees say otherwise. As this face off will be out, outside, inside. Come on, referees, make your decision. If it's inside, then it got tipped. If it's outside, then it didn't. But it looks like it did. I don't know who that went off of, though. As the uh, face off will be to the left of uh, Kristen Strecker. Tyler Force coming in with the draw. There's a nice win there by Tyler Forrest as uh, Matt Winkle tried to force his defenseman out of the, out of the zone. Puck's now in front. Uh, sorry, in behind the net now. Tyler Forrest battling for it. Moved up. 20 seconds left here in this hockey game. Moved over. Shot. That misses wide of the net. Comes back around. Nikita Zagrisis will follow him in hard. Puts him up against the board. And that will come out of the zone with 10 seconds left here in this period. Well, this hockey game, six seconds, five seconds. And Cole Wilskull just chipped that down. Matt Winkle with an empty net with one second left. He'll chip it up. And just wide of the net. And your Tetons win this hockey game. Five to four with uh, two great big goals. Uh, 
in the last 10 minutes of this uh, of this third period. Last five minutes. Five minutes, was it? I think they scored at four or three and then with one. Oh, there you go. Last five minutes of this third period. It gives the Tetons a win. Uh, big game by Kristen Strecker, keeping his team in this one. Gotcha. Stopping a lot of breakaways. Uh, no, big goals from Andy Willen, scoring two, and it gives Griskis. Getting a big one. Uh, thanks for tuning in, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Angus Lane, along with Ryan Budazzoni. And we'll see you next time. Have a great day.